Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Higher Education System, Governance, Policies and Administration Set 1. Question number 1. The launch of Satellite Channel by EGNO on 26th of January 2003 for Technological Education for the Growth and Development of Distance Education is Option A. Eklavya Channel Option B. Gyan Darshan Channel Option C. Rajrishi Channel Option D. None of these The correct answer is Option A. Eklavya Channel Eklavya Technology Channel is a distant learning joint initiative between the IIT and IGNO. It was inaugurated by Professor Murli Manohar Joshi, Honorable Minister, HRD, S&T and Ocean Development on 26 January 2003. Question number 2. Who has signed and more for accreditation of teacher education institutions in India? Option A. Natch and UGC. Option B. NCTE and Natch. Option C. UGC and NCTE. Option D. NCTE and IGNO. The correct answer is. Option B. NCTE and Natch. Nation Council for Teacher Education. NCTE and National Assessment and Accreditation Council, NAAC, signed an Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, for accreditation of teacher education institutions in India. Question number 3. The recommendation of National Knowledge Commission for the establishment of 1,500 universities is to Option A. Create more teaching jobs. Option B. Ensure increase in student enrollment in higher education. Option C. Replace or substitute the privately managed higher education institutions by public institutions. Option D. Enable increased movement of students from rural areas to urban areas. The correct answer is. Option B. Ensure increase in student enrollment in higher education. The recommendation of National Knowledge Commission for the establishment of 1,500 universities is to ensure increase in student enrollment in higher education. Question number 4. Which one of the following is not considered a part of technical education in India? Option A. Medical. Option B. Management. Option C. Pharmaceutical. Option D. Aeronautical. The correct answer is. Option A. Medical, technical education is a part of education that is directly related to the gaining of information and skills needed in manufacturing and service industries. New industrial and labor trends in India have clearly specified the need of technical education. Question number 5. Which of the following is more interactive and student-centric? Option A. Seminar. Option B. Workshop. Option C. Lecture. Option D. Group discussion. The correct answer is. Option D. Group discussion. Group discussion on study topics plays vital role in understanding the topic. Discussing a topic with friends or classmates helps in learning the topic with perfection. Students adopt different methods of learning. Question number 6. The enrollment in higher education in India is contributed both by formal system of education and by system of distance education. Distance education contributes. Option A. 50% of formal system. Option B. 25% of formal system. Option C. 10% of the formal system. Option D. Distance education systems contribution is not taken into account while considering the figures of enrollment in higher education. The 
The correct answer is option B. 25% of formal system. The enrollment in higher education in India is contributed both by formal system of education and by system of distance education. Distance education contributes 25% of formal system. Question number 7. Assertion A. The UGC academic staff colleges came into existence to improve the quality of teachers. Reason R. University and college teachers have to undergo both orientation and refresher courses. Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation. Option B. Both A and R are correct but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C. A is correct and R is false. Option D. A is false and R is correct. The correct answer is Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation. The UGC Academic Staff Colleges, ASC, were established head in universities as autonomous units within them for organizing staff development programs funded by the UGC. The main objective of academic staff colleges is to provide the adequate opportunities for the professional development of teachers in higher education system within the framework of knowledge society to inculcate values, motivation or indeed the skills in the art of teaching. Question number 8. Value education makes a student. Option A. Good citizen. Option B. Successful businessman. Option C. Popular teacher. Option D. Efficient manager. The correct answer is. Option A. Good citizen. Values education is teaching and learning about the ideals that a society deems important. The aim is for students not only to understand the values, but also to reflect them in their attitudes and behavior, and contribute to society through good citizenship and ethics. Question number 9. Networking of libraries through electronic media is known as Option A. Inflibnet. Option B. Libinfnet. Option C. Internet. Option D. HTML. The correct answer is Option A. Inflibnet. Inflibnet, Information and Library Network, started as a project in 1991. In 1996, it became a UGC center. The mission of Inflibnet is to create a virtual network of people and resources. Inflibnet provides seamless, reliable and ubiquitous access to scholarly, peer-reviewed electronic resources. Question number 10. The university which telecasts interactive educational programs through its own channel is. Option A. B. R. Ambedkar Open University, Hyderabad. Option B. I. G. N. O. U. Option C. University of Pune. Option D. Annamala University. The correct answer is Option B. IGNOU, Indira Gandhi National Open University known as IGNOR, is a central university located at Medan Garhi, New Delhi, India. The university was established in 1985 with a budget of 20 million rupees. This the university which telecasts interactive educational programs through its own channel. Question number 11. The government established the University Grants Commission by an Act of Parliament in the year. Option A. 1980. Option B. 1948. Option C. 1950. Option D. 1956. The correct answer is. Option D. 1956. The UGC. However, was formally established only in November 1956 as a statutory body of the Government of India through an Act of Parliament for the coordination, 
determination and maintenance of standards of university education in India. Question number 12. Universities having central campus for imparting education are called. Option A. Central universities. Option B. Deemed universities. Option C. Residential universities. Option D. Open universities. The correct answer is Option A. Central universities. Central universities or union universities in India are established by an Act of Parliament and are under the purview of the Department of Higher Education in the Union Human Resource Development Ministry. Question number 13. Which statement is not correct about the National Education Day of India? Option A. It is celebrated on 5th September every year. Option B. It is celebrated on 11th November every year. Option C. It is celebrated in the memory of India's first Union Minister of Education, Dr. Abul Kalam Azad. Option D. It is being celebrated since 2008. The correct answer is. Option A. It is celebrated on 5th September every year. National Education Day is an annual observance in India to commemorate the birth anniversary of Maulana Abul Kalam Azad, the first education minister of independent India, who served from the 15th of August 1947 until the 2nd of February 1958. National Education Day of India is celebrated on the 11th of November every year. Question number 14. The accreditation process by National Assessment and Accreditation Council, NAAC, differs from that of National Board of Accreditation, NBA, in terms of Option A. Disciplines covered by both being the same, there is duplication of efforts. Option B. One has institutional grading approach and the other has program grading approach. Option C. Once get accredited by NBA or NACH. The institution is free from renewal of grading, which is not a progressive decision. Option D. This accreditation amounts to approval of minimum standards in the quality of education in the institution concerned. The correct answer is. Option C. Once get accredited by NBA or NACH, the institution is free from renewal of grading which is not a progressive decision. Once get accredited by NBA or NACH, the institution is free from renewal of grading, which is not a progressive decision. This accreditation amounts to approval of minimum standards in the quality of education in the institution concerned. Question number 15. Which option is correct? Option A. Most of the educational institutions of national repute in scientific and technical sphere fall under 64th entry of union list. Option B. Education, in general, is the subject of concurrent list since 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act 1976. Option C. Central Advisory Board on Education, CABE, was first established in 1920. Option D. India had implemented the right to free and compulsory primary education in 2002 through 86th Constitutional Amendment. The correct answer is Option C. Central Advisory Board on Education, CABE, was first established in 1920. The Central Advisory Board of Education, CABE, the highest advisory body to advise the central and state governments in the field of education, was first established in 1920 and dissolved in 1923 as a measure of economy. It was revived in 1935 and had continued to exist till 1994. Question number 16. Deemed universities declared by UGC under Section 3 of the UGC Act 1956, are not permitted to. Option A offer programs in higher education and issue degrees. Option B. Give affiliation to any institute of higher education. Option C. 
open off campus and offshore campus anywhere in the country and overseas respectively without the permission of the UGC. Option D. Offer distance education programs without the approval of the distance education council. The correct answer is Option C. Open off campus and offshore campus anywhere in the country and overseas respectively without the permission of the UGC. The criteria and procedure of their establishment is different. Universities are established by Central Slash State Act under Section 2F of the UGC Act, 1956, whereas an institution deemed to be university is declared by a notification of the central government. On the advice of UGC, under Section 3 of the UGC Act, 1956, Question number 17. The Right to Information Act, 2005 makes the provision of Option A. Dissemination of all types of information by all public authorities to any person. Option B. Establishment of central, state and district level information commissions as an appellate body. Option C. Transparency and accountability in public authorities. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is Option D. All of the above. The basic object of the RTI Act is to empower the citizens, promote transparency and accountability in the working of the government, and make our democracy work for the people in real sense. The Right to Information Act, 2005 empowers citizens to get information from any public authority. Question number 18. The first open university in India was set up in the state of Option Andhra Pradesh Option B. Delhi Option C. Himachal Pradesh Option D. Tamil Nadu The correct answer is Option Andhra Pradesh Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh set up on 26th of August 1982 is the first open university in India. Question number 19 Most of the universities in India are funded by Option A. The Central Government Option B. The State Governments Option C. The University Grants Commission. Option D. Private Bodies and Individuals. The correct answer is. Option C. The University Grants Commission. The main aim and role of UGC in higher education is to provide funds to universities and coordinate, determine and maintain the ethics in institutions of higher education. Question number 20. Which of the following organizations looks after the quality of technical and management education in India? Option A. NCTE. Option B. MCI. Option C. IIT. Option D. Kshir. The correct answer is. Option C. IIT. The All India Council for Technical Education, IIT, is the statutory body and a national level council for technical education, under Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Human Resource Development. Established in November 1945 first as an advisory body and later on in 1987 given statutory status by an Act of Parliament. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.